Hare Krishna, dear devotees, and with Pranam, Jai Srila Prabhupada, please accept my humble obeisances. So, um, I've been uh, given the opportunity to um, do virtual or Mansik Govardhan Parikrama. So, I hope uh, you will all enjoy. Um, you will relish the pastimes of uh, Krishna, Radharani, Gopis, and so many other uh, devotees and acharyas at various um, sites of Govardhan. And uh, those of you who've already been there, uh, I hope that you will also relish and um, either uh, learn something more or um, uh, enjoy this journey. Um, I'm not qualified at all to speak on this. I've been there only once and we did a very, very um, uh, summarized, very, very uh, quick uh, parikrama. But um, I was um, uh, requested by many devotees uh, to show some pictures and to share some pastime. So I have actually included even the places that we did not go to uh, just so that we have a more complete idea of what the Parikrama entails, the key locations that are recommended by uh, Prabhupada, by uh, Mahaprabhu actually. Uh, to visit during the Govardhan Parikrama. So I will try to share all of them, even though we did not go there this time. So please uh, forgive any um, offenses, any mistakes, any uh, deficiencies in my knowledge, which, which are many, many numerous uh, deficiencies because I am not um, very um, uh, much learned in this subject at all. Uh, so, without any further delay, I'll start with Mangla Charan and we will start our Parikrama. I have some slides, uh, some presentation and then a video also where you can do the whole Parikrama. So, we'll do both and try to finish in an hour if possible. If we carry on longer, then we can continue tomorrow or uh, if you're willing to stay longer, we can do that, complete it then. Om Ajnanati Mirandhasya Jnananjana Shalakaya Chakshurun Militam Yena Tasmai Shri Guru Venama Shri Chaitanya Manobishtam Stapitam Yena Bhutale Swayam Rupa Kadamayam Dadati Swapadantikam Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Jai Shri Advaita Gadadhara Shri Vasadi Gaur Bhaktavinda Namo Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prishthaya Bhutale Shrimati Bhakti Vedan Swami Iti Namine Namaste Saraswati Deve, Gauravani Pracharane, Nirvishesha Shunyavadi, Paschate Deshitarane, Mukam Karoti Vachalam, Pangum Langayate, Girim Yatripata Mahamande, Shri Gurum Dina Taranam Parman and the Madhavam Krishna Chaitanya Ishwaram, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Okay, so um, I'm sharing my screen. I've, I'll do the video later so that if more people are joining, then they can um, join and we can till then just look at some slides and discuss a little bit. So um, so this is our um, Parikrama of Sri Giriraj Govardhan Dham. Um, I'll start with the Pranam Mantra before we start on the Mansik or Virtual Parikrama. Um, Please um, recite if you are able to. Namaste Giri Rajaya. Namaste Giri Rajaya. Shri Govardhan Namine. Shri Govardhan Namine. Ashesha Klesha Nashine. Ashesha Klesha Nashine. Nashine. Parmananda Daine. So this uh, Pranam Mantra basically means that we are offering obeisances to uh, Shri Giriraj Govardhan, Namaste Girirajaya, Shri Govardhan Namine, whose name is Shri Govardhan. Ashesh uh, Klesh Nashine, the one who destroys unlimited uh, infinite sins or difficulties from our path. Kleshas, the one who destroys the Kleshas or difficulties, disturbances, sins. And Parmananta Daini, the one who gives us unlimited bliss, joy or happiness. Parmananta Daini, he gives Parmanant to us. 
So, um, Giriraj Govardhan, a few points to understand about Govardhan before we start on the Parikrama. That uh, what is the position of Giriraj Govardhan? Why uh, Govardhan? I mean, there are so many mountains. Why Giriraj Govardhan is so exalted? Actually, if uh, those of you who have read um, Srila Rup Goswami's Nectar of Instruction, Updesha Amrit, in that, uh, in the last three verses, Rup Goswami uh, declares that you know there are so many spiritual um, planets, there are so many Vaikuntas. But the position of Vaikuntha is actually very low compared to the position of Mathura, right? Because in Mathura, um, Lord did so many pastimes, right? So Mathura's position is very high compared to that of other spiritual planets like Vaikunthas. And compared to Mathura, the position of Vrindavan is very high. And we know that Vrindavan is the topmost abode. But in Vrindavan, the position of Govardhan is the highest compared to any other pilgrimage place. So compared to any other Teeth, teeth Stali, Govardhan holds the topmost position. Why? Because Krishna not only engaged in so many pastimes on Govardhan, right? Uh, he not only um, encouraged the Vrajvasis to do the worship of Govardhan, but also he lifted Govardhan above his own head for seven days and seven nights. So the position of Govardhan is very, very elevated. And Krishna showed that in his uh, pastimes. He showed that by doing so many uh, sweet pastimes with Radharani, with gopis, with cowherd boys. He, did, he engaged in so many different leelas there. There are numerous and numerous stories that happened in various parts of Govardhan. So that is why the position of Govardhan is very high. So Govardhan is not only, you know, it is, he's not only, um, a devotee, but he is actually Krishna himself. So sometimes his position is that is that of a devotee. His mood is that of a devotee, and sometimes his, his he's like Krishna. So he's none other than Krishna because he's manifesting from the heart of Krishna. Actually, Krishna manifested Giriraj Govardhan from his heart when Radharani requested him to do so. So when Krishna told Radharani that, you know, we are going in, in Dwapar Yoga, we are going to uh, Vrindavan and we are going to be engaging in so many pastimes there, we are going to be um, spending some time there. So Radharani's request was that I will only go if my uh, beloved Kalindi Yamuna and Giriraj Govardhan accompany us uh, to the material world. So, uh, so Krishna said, you know, don't worry about that. They are both already there. I have already manifested them um, in Vrindavan so that both of them are already there and you can engage in the similar pastimes that we do in Golok Vrindavan um, on the Bham Vrindavan as well. So uh, Giriraj Govardhan is manifested from Krishna's heart upon Radharani's request. And Radharani is very, very attached to Govardhan. Radharani is very, very attached to Vrindavan, we know, but also to Govardhan. So, in if you look in Srimad Bhagavatam, th those of you who have read, um, Srimad Bhagavatam mentions three Haridas. There are three Haridas or devotee of Hari. Haridas means servant of Hari, right? Three Haridas are mentioned in Srimad Bhagavatam. One is, um, one is Sri Uddhav. Okay, Sri Uddhav. Another is uh, Yudhishthir Maharaj. So both of them, them have been given the denomination of Haridas. They have been called Haridas. And then the third and the topmost Haridas is Giriraj Govardhan. So he, since he's the best among all the Haridas that are there, he's called Haridas Varya. So actually Radharani calls Sri Giriraj Govardhan Haridas Varya. So Haridas Varya is, is considered another name or actually an Upadhi for Giriraj Govardhan that is the topmost among all Haridas that are there. And Bhagavatam has listed three of those Haridas out of which the best is Giriraj Govardhan. So in this way, um, Giriraj Govardhan is considered the crown jewel, the Mukut Mani of Golok Vrindavan. So that is why, you know, the millions of people go there every year. Uh, some people go on certain dates, some people go on in certain months to do the Parikrama of uh, Giriraj. Actually, you should know that not only uh, Jivas, but even Krishna, Krishna himself did the Parikrama of Govardhan. When he was in his manifest pastimes, Krishna also did the Parikrama. And then uh, 500 years back, actually Chaitanya Mahaprabhu did the um, 
uh, Parikrama as well. Okay, Raksha Mataji, Mataji is saying, can you repeat the names of three Haridas again? So yes, Mataji, the three Haridas is Yudhishthir Maharaj, Uddhavji, Sri Uddhav, right? Who is very close associate of Krishna in Dwarka. Um, and third is Giriraj Govardhan. So, um, so I was saying that Mahaprabhu also did the Parikrama and actually he showed how to do this Parikrama. He came to Mansi Ganga and I'll show a couple of slides. Uh, he came to Mansi Ganga and he showed us how to do the Parikrama. So the Gaudiya Vaishnavas follow in the footsteps of Mahaprabhu in where to start the Parikrama, which all places to go, just exactly what Mahaprabhu did. And um, we follow in his um, footsteps. So uh, Giriraj Parikrama can be, do, can be done in various ways, right? One is walking Parikrama. You all are familiar with that. You just walk. The other one is Dandavat Parikrama. Dandavat Parikrama means that people will lay down the mat and then do Dandavats. And they keep doing Dandavats one after another to do the Parikrama around Kovardhan. So that obviously takes a long, long time. And then the uh, very, very exalted devotees uh, will not only do one Dandavat at a spot, some people will do 108 Dandavats at a spot. And then there are those who will do 1008 Dandavats at a spot. So uh, Giriraj Govardhan has such um, amazing, wonderful, uh, you know, spiritual value that um, somebody who does uh, so many dandvats around Govardhan um, will get amazing uh, spiritual benefit. So dandvat parikrama is also done. And then, so when we were doing, we saw so many people that were doing dandvat parikrama. And actually there are some people who do couple dandvat. Couple dandvat means that wife will do one dandvat and then husband will do another. So in this way, they are able to cut down uh, the number of dandvats they have to do. So they are sharing basically the dandvats that can also be done. And the third type of parikrama is done by Vallab Sampraday devotees. It's called Dugd Dhara uh, um, uh, Parikrama. So in that they carry a pot of milk and it has a hole and as they walk, um, it's uh, lining the parikrama path with the milk. So walking dandvat and Dugdhara Parikrama. And of course that if you cannot walk, you can do it in auto or rickshaw or something. So uh, the Parikrama Marg, there are three ways to do it. The most common mark, the most common uh, path that is followed is about 21 kilometers or South Coast. 21 kilometers is the most common mark that is followed by the most devotees. The another one, the shorter one is 15 kilometers mark. Some people do that also, the shorter Parikrama. And the Parikrama that Srila Sanatan Goswami used to do is actually the longest Parikrama and that was 27 kilometers. Now, Srila Sanatan Goswami used to do Parikrama daily of Govardhan, 27 kilometers daily. So that was his devotion, his attachment to um, Giriraj Govardhan. And he was staying at Giriraj Govardhan, he was staying at Mansi Ganga. Right? So um, that is just uh, some of the facts about the Parikrama. And I think all of you are familiar with the story of um, uh, Giriraj Govardhan, the Govardhan Leela pastime of Krishna. Uh, that how he convinced all the Brajwasis, uh, Nand Maharaj and other cowherd men that instead of Lord Indra, we should worship Giriraj Govardhan who supplies us with uh, so much, uh, gives us all the resources that we need for our food, for our daily routine, for feeding our cows, animals, for us, everything. We get all the supplies from Giriraj Govardhan. So let's worship him instead of Lord Indra. And Lord Indra, as you understand, as you know, he got very bewildered, very angry um, um, and uh, created this uh, torrential rain to get revenge uh, from Rajvasis for not worshipping him. So uh, he poured this, um, uh, you know, huge uh, downfall of uh, downpour of rain for seven days and seven nights. And Krishna lifted the Govardhan and everybody took shelter under the Govardhan. All the animals, all the uh, gopas, gopis, kids, uh, everybody took shelter. All the Vrajwasis took shelter under the Govardhan and Krishna lifted the Govardhan hill uh, for seven days and seven nights. So um, that uh, uh, finally made Indra realize that this cannot be an ordinary uh, person and this is Lord himself. And I have offended the Lord by, um, by trying to harm um, Brajwasis and Vrindavan. So this is uh, very, very wrong. And finally the downpour stopped and he came to 
apologize to the Lord for this big offense. You can see in this picture, he came with Surbi cow actually. He took the shelter of Surbi cow. Surbi cow is very dear to Krishna. So he took shelter of Surbi cow in seeking forgiveness of um, the Lord. So uh, here again, you see uh, Lord Indra and his um, elephant Aravat in the background and Surbi. The reason I'm bringing all of this up is because Govardhan Parikrama Marg consists of many, many uh, water bodies. Okay, those water bodies are called kunds. So you you know some of the famous kunds like uh, Radha Kund, Sham Kund, right? And then there are big water bodies like there is Kusum Sarovar, Mansi Ganga, and then there are several other kunds like um, Surbi Kund, um, Indra Kund, Aravat Kund, Rudra Kund, Uddhav Kund, Narad Kund, many many kunds. And each kund, their water is holy water. And it has uh, some very wonderful pastimes, sweet pastimes associated with Krishna. So that's why I'm telling you all these details because I will talk about it, how the Surbi Kund got created, how Indra Kund got created, how Aravat Kund got created. So um, I'll show you those on the Parikrama Marg. So there are many, many temples. Each temple has different deities and um, uh, many, many pastimes associated with each site and also many, many kunds that we will come across during the Parikrama of Govardhan. This is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who as you can see, he, when he reached Govardhan, he first came to Mansi Ganga and he um, was so attached, right? He's Krishna himself. So he's so attached to Govardhan that as soon as he saw Govardhan, he embraced the Govardhan um, uh, Shila and um, was very ecstatic in a very very ecstatic mood. He did Kirtan throughout. The, all the Brajwasis were astonished at seeing the uh, mood of Mahaprabhu. So uh, we will do the Parikrama according to the instructions given by uh, Mahaprabhu. This is the Parikrama path. When we walk, uh, we try not to. If you are doing walking Parikrama, you don't step on the Govardhan. You walk on the mark that has been made for this purpose. Um, some people, so we are not supposed to take rocks um, from Govardhan Hill. Um, the, you know, the sto any stone from the hill or the rocks from the hill should be uh, given to us by our guru or spiritual master, and then we can get the right to worship a Govardhan Shila so that is given by the guru. Some people take the rocks from Govardhan Hill, but um, uh, from what I was, from what I read and heard, uh, and we were also instructed when we went there that we should not. Uh, take any rocks and shilas um, uh, without any permission from the spiritual master. But uh, in the past, yes, devotees do take some rocks and they render service to him because Govardhan Shila is none other than Krishna himself. Like Mahaprabhu had given uh, Govardhan Shila to Raghunath Das Goswami to worship. Uh, and Raghunath Das Goswami worshipped that Shila all his life. So, um, so the Shila is given typically by one's uh, uh, spiritual master. And we have to take permission before beginning the worship. Um, so, um, so this is the Parikrama mark. So first spot where we reach is Mansi Ganga. Okay, and this is Mansi Ganga as you can see and there are many, many temples, many, many uh, places um, uh, on the shore of Mansi Ganga. Mansi Ganga is actually the largest kund and it used to be a river when Krishna manifested Mansi Ganga. So Manasi Ganga means Man see that the Ganga that has appeared from the man or the mind of Krishna. So this uh, Mansi Ganga has was manifested from Krishna's mind, and she appeared on the uh, Kartik Amavasya, which is basically the day of Diwali. So that day Krishna manifested a Mansi Ganga, and Mansi Ganga is non-different from Ganga. It is actually same as Ganga. And um, even in our literature, it is said that Mansi Ganga has even more benefit than Ganga itself because it is flowing in uh, Vrindavan and because it, it appeared not only not from the foot of Ganga, uh, from Vishnu like Ganga did, but appeared from the mind of Krishna in Vrindavan on Govardhan um, and so has even more uh, spiritual value than the Ganga. So the story behind this Mansi Ganga is that Krishna killed a very powerful demon that Kansa had sent. You know that Kansa used to send all kind of demons, right? Um, so he sent a demon in uh, that was in the form of a calf, a calf demon. It was called Vatsasur. So that Vatsasur, when Krishna killed, um, and that night he came to join Gopis uh, and Radharani in the 
uh, Ras Leela in the Rasa dance. And they uh, prohibited him entry into the Rasa dance, saying that you have killed a calf. So you have done the pap, pap of Gohatya. If you have done Gohatya, ka, uh, pap kiya hai, to aap saath Rasa dance mein participate nahi kar sakte. So saying that, they turned him away from the Ras Leela. So this, they told him, you need to go and take bath in Ganges, go leave Rindavan, go to Ganga, take a bath in Ganga, purify, atone for your sin of killing a cow and then come back and join us. Then you will be purified and you will be fit to join our Ras Leela. Now Krishna never leaves Rindavan, right? We all know that Krishna always stays in Rindavan. He, he has made this vow that Vrindavanam Tejay Padam Ekam Nagachati, Krishna says. So he will never leave Rindavan. He said, I'm not going to leave Rindavan. I will bring Ganga here. Hmm? And so Krishna uh, has Krishna basically manifested Ganga uh, from his mind. Ganga Devi appeared. Uh, Krishna made a um, kund, made a river by digging with his flute into which Ganga Devi manifested herself and started flowing. So in this way, Krishna basically established that one need not leave Vrindavan at all. Vrindavan is the full pilgrimage, full place of pilgrimage. It is the absolute Tirth Stali. One, one does not have to leave Vrindavan to go anywhere even in search of Ganga. You don't have to put your foot outside of Vrindavan because anything that is available in any other pilgrimage can be available in Vrindavan. And Krishna established that very nicely by bringing Ganga here. So actually this happened with Nand Maharaj and Yashoda Maya also that uh, Nand Maharaj and Yashoda Maya also wanted to go visit Ganga. They wanted to uh, go take a, a dip in Ganga one time and uh, various other cowherd men. So Krishna also told them, he also advised them, you don't need to go outside of Vrindavan to uh, take a dip in Ganga. I will take you to Ganga. Come with me. And he took them to Mansi Ganga. And they paid their obeisances there. Uh, they took a dip in Mansi Ganga and Ganga Devi. You see Ganga Devi here. Ganga Devi came out of Mansi Ganga and uh, they got her darshan. So Nand Maharaj and Yashoda Maya and other cowherd men were actually also convinced that one need not uh, leave Vrindavan at all because Ganga also is right there. So um, that was the uh, uh, pastimes. And then so many other pastimes have happened in, um, happened in Mansi Ganga. Actually, like I said, Mansi Ganga used to be a full-fledged full river at that time, not like a kund now. It is, it is like a kund now, but before it used to be a full-fledged river with like islands in it, uh, shore uh, on both sides, right? So, so many pastimes happened there. And one of the most important pastimes that happened there is a very, very sweet, very, very charming pastime of uh, Noka Vihar Leela. This is again just some pictures. This is the temple uh, of, uh, this is the temple on the shores of Mansi Ganga. Um, some more pictures of Mansi Ganga. Some of these pictures are ours. Some I took from the uh, Iskand Desire Tree. So this is the pastime that I wanted to share. This is called Noka Vihar Leela. This is a boating pastime. This is very, very sweet pastime. So what happened was um, uh, one time all the gopis and Radharani, they were carrying a lot of uh, many pots, pots full of butter and yogurt and milk and they wanted to cross Mansi Ganga. So uh, the, the current in the river was very, very strong and uh, they did not uh, want to uh, go across it uh, without somebody's help. So suddenly they saw there was a boat there with a boatman in it. And they said, uh, they asked the boatman, can you help us cross? He said, the current is so strong that you would have to give me a very suitable pay payment to let me help you. They said, okay, whatever payment you want. So he said, I want uh, your, um, all this butter and milk and yogurt. You have to give me some of this. Uh, you have to feed me from this when we get to the uh, other side. So they agreed and they all climbed in, in the boat, as you can see. Mm -hmm. And... Um, uh, as they were going, suddenly the boat started filling with water. There was a hole in the boat or Parni Aane Laga boat ke andar. So they all got scared. What is going on? So the boatman said, uh, you know, the somehow there is a hole in the boat and boat is going to drown. We have to make it lighter. Why don't you throw away all your pots of butter and milk and everything into the um, river and then it will become lighter. So they all gave their pots. Fake diye. Uh, butter ke, milk ke, sab fake de in the Ganga, Mansi Ganga. Uh, but still, it was very heavy. So he said, you know, now take off your, all your jewelry. You're wearing so much jewelry and everything. Take that off and uh, throw it into the Mansi Ganga. Then it will become lighter. 
So they threw all that also. And then um, uh, it was still pretty heavy. So, so the boatman said, now take off your clothes and throw them also. And uh, one of the gopis said, you know, we, will, we are going to throw you and that will make it nicely light and everything. So anyway, they carried on somehow. And suddenly there was a big downpour of rain going on, uh, lightning and tor torrential rain falling. And the gopis were getting scared. Suddenly there was a huge thunder and lightning. And Radharani got very scared and she jumped across to the boatman. As she jumped across and touched him, something came in her hand. And she saw what she what, it, what came in her hand was actually a flute. And so she realized, oh, this this uh, boatman is none other than the rascal Krishna. He's he's the one dri driving this boat and asking us to throw all our pots. You see in this picture, they're throwing all their pots and of butter, milk and yogurt, everything, taking off their jewelry and throwing away. And uh, once they recognized that this was their, uh, you know, transcendental uh, cheater uh, and um, love, beloved Krishna, they all uh, became very happy. And uh, Krishna then and the, everything became silent and quite nice weather. And they all went on a very uh, beautiful boat ride across the uh, shore. So this pastime is described actually by Srila Jeev Goswami in his Gopal Champu very nicely. So many, many ways th these pastimes have happened. This Nauka Vihar Lila has happened in many different ways um, in the Mansi Ganga. But that was a very beautiful pastime that is quoted. And uh, another um, story that Krishna told Nand Maharaj and Yashoda Maya about Mansi Ganga is that Igbar Garud, uh, you know, who's the who's very big devotee of Krishna, he was carrying a snake in his beak. You know, Garud eats snakes. So snake leke ja rahe and the tail of that snake touched Mansi Ganga just a little bit. As soon as the tip of the tail touched Mansi Ganga, that the snake uh, suddenly acquired the Vishnu Swarup, the four-handed form of Vishnu. He, he got the liberation in the Swarup Siddhi form of Vishnu and he went back to God and he went back to Vikunthas. So, he, so that snake got liberated in the four-handed form. And when Nand Maharaj and Yashoda Maya heard that story, they again realized what is the importance of this Mansi Ganga. So there are many, many such stories, uh, but this is a very big glorification of uh, uh, that we should start our um, uh, journey of Govardhan Parikrama from Mansi Ganga by taking a dip or by taking obeisances there, by taking uh, just in the same mood as Mahaprabhu, uh, you start from Mansi Ganga as per his instructions. Now, on one of the shores of Mansi Ganga, there is Mukharvind. So, this is our next place to stop. Mukharvind means Muk and Arvind. Arvind means lotus. So, lot and Muk means mouth. So, lotus mouth of Govardhan. So, this is the lotus mouth of Govardhan. You see this uh, Shila, this Govardhan Shila. This is the Mukharvind or lotus mouth of Govardhan. And behind here is the Mukut Shila. Mukut Shila is the Mukut of Krishna. Uh, in the form of Govardhan Shila. So uh, devotees, uh, after um, Mansi, uh, once they go to Mansi Ganga, the first stop they make is go to Mukharvind. Why? Because at the time of Govardhan Leela, as you know, that uh, Giriraj Govardhan was, was given many, many food items, right? He was worshipped with so many food items along with Tulsi Maharani to please him. So before starting our Parikrama, we have to take permission from Giriraj Govardhan and we have to offer him something. So typically people will offer milk or some sweet offering with Tulsi Maharani and uh, pay their obeisances to the Mukharavind Shila and uh, request permission from Govardhan to start their Parikrama. Now when you go there, Brajwasis may say that you know Mukharavind maha par hai, maha par hai, kahin aur hai. Lekin Gaudiya Vaishnavas accept this Mukharavind as the main main Mukharavind, main lotus mouth that, that we should offer our um, food and other items. So we offer something here with Tulsi Marani. We pay obeisances and we ask uh, permission to start. We will finish also here. When we finish, we will again ask permission. Uh, we will ask, uh, you know, uh, offer prayers that, uh, hey, Shri Giriraj Govardhan Haridas Varya, please grant me the residence near you um, uh, so that I may uh, keep serving you. So this was Raghunath Das Goswami's prayer. He said, Raghunath Das Goswami, you know, lived um, at um, Govardhan for close to 45 years at Radha Kund, right? And he wrote two 
very um, very wonderful dashakams dashakams means a song consisting of 10 verses he wrote 10 uh, he wrote 10 verses and two such songs two dashakams one was called nij nikat nivasam dehi govardhan tvam this is called govardhan vasa prarthana dashakam in which he is praying to govardhan to grant him vas or nivas at govardhan he says nij nikat nivasam dehi govardhan tvam and the other one is called govardhan ashraya dashaka taking shelter of govardhan so in this way uh, ragunath das goswami has written two dashikams in his book stavavali stavavali so that should be our prayer also because you know we follow in the footsteps of acharya so uh, ragunath das goswami is the best acharya to um, follow here because he lived he, him and uh, shrila sanatan goswami both of them lived in um, uh, govardhan for so many years okay so next um, after i will do a few more and then i will show you a video because i think we have few more people that have joined now so we can uh, see a video after a few more spots we are still at mansi ganga okay and now one of the shores of mansi ganga has a very um, wonderful dt actually um, of chakleshwar mahadev the uh, chakleshwar mahadev mandir this temple is called chakleshwar mahadev mandir this is very important because you know that shiv ji who is um, uh pure devotee of the lord biggest vaishnav he is present in different parts of raja right in different forms he is present in different parts of raja and he is guarding raja and rajwasis at all times so um here in um govardhan he is called chakleshwar or chakreshwar okay in mathura mahadev that's present there is called bhuteshwar mahadev brindavan he is present as gopeshwar mahadev Kamyavan, he is present as Kameshwar Mahadev. Nandgaon, he is present as Nandeshwar Mahadev. So in this way, in different places, Mahadev is guarding Brindavan, um, guarding the doors of Brindavan. Okay, in different places. So Govardhan is guarded by Chakleshwar Mahadev. So after you have offered something to the Mukharavind, uh, taken darshan there, paid obeisances. Now we go to Chakleshwar Mahadev Mandir. This next here on the right side is Chakra Tirth. Chakra Tirth, Chakra refers to Sudarshan Chakra. Okay, so remember when there was torrential rain falling on Govardhan, right? So much rain going on that all the Rajwasis were uh, under the Govardhan. Now the concern was that all the rain fr falling from the side of Govardhan can come down and still drown uh, Vrindavan, can still drown the people. कि सारी rain side से गिर के नीचे कटी हो जाएगी तो बहुत flooding हो जाएगी and it will drown people. so sudarshan chakra and sheshnag what did they do sudarshan chakra started revolving on top of govardhan everywhere badi tezi se started revolving everywhere and as he was revolving he was evaporating all the rain that was falling falling so actually nothing was falling down at all and so all the rajwasis that were taking shelter under the govardhan were completely dry is the tarike se sheshnag also was distributing was uh, a, a, sort of uh, evaporating and highlighting that rain away those uh, vaporizing it away so this place and and since then Ch uh, sudarshan chakra um, even though krishna put the govardhan hill down sudarshan chakra stays above the hill and he stays in the northern shore of mansi ganga so this is the north shore of mansi ganga north bank of mansi ganga in this place is called chakra tirtha so um this also we can visit and then the next uh, place again on mansi ganga still we are at the shore of mansi ganga this temple is called hari dev temple this temple um and this is a dt this is a dt um hari dev dt inside the temple this is a very beautiful story how this dt manifested this dt actually manifested to radha rani and gopis so uh, what happened one time was Uh, that one day at Govardhan on the banks of Mansi Ganga, Radha Rani and Gopis were waiting for Krishna, and in their separation from Krishna, abhi aaye nahi the Krishna, so they were waiting for him, and they were zor zor se Hari Dev Hari Dev karke chanting kar rahi thi. They were calling out the name Hari Dev. So suddenly, a seven-year-old boy came in front of them, and this boy was carrying in his left hand the Govardhan Shila, in his right hand a flute. and um he was basically the 7 year old gopal he was basically the 7 year old version of krishna 
and uh, he uh, play, started playing this transcendental flute to Radharani and, and Gopis. So as soon as Radharani and Gopis saw him, they felt very, very ecstatic on seeing this beautiful form. And they offered him worship, offered him all kinds of uh, wonderful offerings. And, um, uh, and they established him in, in a temple. So um, this is the temple of Haridev. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu actually also, visited, so when he came to uh, Mansi Ganga, he visited this ancient tem temple. Um, and when he saw the beautiful deity of this Lord Haridev, he actually started dancing in ecstasy and he danced for hours. And the local Rajwasis were completely astonished to see Mahaprabhu's ecstatic mood, love for Lord Haridev. They were completely bewildered. Who is this person dancing like this uh, for Lord Haridev? He's so much in complete love of Lord Haridev. So that is the story behind this temple. So we should uh, pay obeisances here. And then um, uh, Sanatan Goswami, as you know, resided at the banks of Mansi Ganga as well. He resided there for many, many years. And Srila Sanatan Goswami, those of you uh, don't know about him, he's one of the six Goswamis of Vrindavan. He's, he's one of our Acharyas. He's um, uh, very, very, um, has, you know, given us wonderful teachings of Mahaprabhu and has um, uh, 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 established various uh, places of pastimes of Vrindavan and Govardhan to, uh, to us that had disappeared in time. So many places had disappeared. And him and other Goswamis, um, they all established those places upon the instruction of Mahaprabhu. So Sanatan Goswami, this is his bhajan kutir. This is where he used to sit and chant daily. And he used to do daily parikrama. Sometimes when he was, you know, in younger age, he would even do 1008 Danduvas Parikrama. And even till old age, he used to do uh, daily Parikrama here. So actually, this is, an, we will, whenever we do Vrindavan Parikrama, this, I will show you this, uh, this Govardhan Shila, which is right now in Radha Damodar Temple in Vrindavan. So, so what happened was he used to do so many, he used to do daily Parikrama of Govardhan. That his beloved DT, uh, Madan Mohanji, told him that Sanatan, you are becoming so old. Please stop doing daily parikrama. You don't have to do daily parikrama. So Krishna, Madan Mohan, started playing his flute. In the ecstasy of that flute, a calf came Gaika Bacha, Chota, came and started playing next to Krishna. Huh? And that place on Govardhan where Krishna was standing, that place melted, that place on Govardhan melted from the sound of Krishna's flute. And on that area, there is a padchin of Krishna, of his lotus feet, and footprint of the calf that was playing, and um, the stick that Madan Mohan was carrying, and the print of the uh, flute also. So this shila uh, Madan Mohan gave to uh, Sanatan Goswami and told him, that you should just do parikrama, do four parikrama around this shila and that will be equivalent to one Govardhan parikrama. Ap iske around char chakkar kaat lo, to wo ek Govardhan parikrama ke equal ho jayega. But please, in your old age, stop doing daily Govardhan parikrama. So now this, so this uh, shila in due time was after Sanatan Goswami left his body. This uh, shila was given to uh, Rup Goswami and uh, who was his brother. And from Rup Goswami, it went to his disciple and nephew, Srila Jeev Goswami. And it was established in Srila Jeev Goswami's temple, which is Radha Damodar temple. I will show you that again when we do the uh, Vrindavan Parikrama. So it is said that if one does four parikramas of Radha Damodar temple, it is equivalent to one Govardhan Parikrama because that was what uh, Krishna told Sanatan Goswami. Because there is a shila there. So if you have four parikrama in that temple, then because there is a shila there, then you will become one Govardhan Parikrama. So in this way, Sanatan Goswami was doing this bhajan kutir. Okay, so now we will see a pastime. So this bhajan kutir is actually the next bhajan kutir. So this is the next bhajan kutir. So this is the next bhajan kutir. So this bhajan kutir is next to Chakleshwar Mahadev. Because remember, we are still on the banks of uh, Mansi Ganga. So Chakleshwar Mahadev and uh, Sanatan Goswami Bhajan Kutira right next to each other. So when he used to do bhajan, he was very much troubled by the mosquitoes there. There were many mosquitoes. Aate the. And he thought, Sanatan Goswami thought, you know, maybe I should leave Mansi Ganga and go to Vrindavan and do my bhajan there because these uh, mosquitoes disturb me a lot huh? here. So I should go. So when he was about to leave, uh, Chakleshwar Mahadev came to him. 
because you know chakleshwar mahadev is a devotee of the lord he could not bear that um, sanatan goswami is going to leave this place i want to be in his association i get to hear his wonderful bhajan every day ha huh? i get to be in the presence of a pure devotee of the lord every day and he is going to leave his bhajan kutir and mansi ganga and go to vrindavan nahi i cannot bear this separation so chakreshwar mahadev told sanatan goswami i promise to you i will take care of all the mosquitoes please continue your bhajan here so from that time on even till today there are no mosquitoes in that place so <laughs> this is the uh, so this made sanatan goswami stay there and uh, sanatan goswami had a very very beautiful very very sweet relationship with brajwasis every day he used to go and visit brajwasis and uh, spend so much time with them and he would uh, share so many um, pastimes with them so many um, stories like daily baatein karte the daily ki aapki how is your cow doing how is your daughter doing when is your daughter getting married how is your son doing is your wife like this you know it may sound to somebody that he is doing gossiping or he is doing prajalpa but actually even the gossiping or prajalpa with rajwasis is considered to be hari katha so he used to in this way spend a lot of time with the with the rajwasis and when one day um, he did not come to meet rajwasis they got very um, uh, disturbed and went to see him and actually they found that uh, sanatan goswami was in a samadhi and during his bhajan he had actually left his body this was the day of god of guru purnima and um, uh, they called other goswamis and everybody came root goswami came everybody came and when they saw uh, their beloved shila sanatan goswami had left um, uh, his um, he has wrapped up his material pastimes his uh, manifested pastimes they brajwasi they all shaved their head and since then even to this day uh, people living there shave their head on that particular guru purnima when sanatan goswami left his body so they call it mudiya purnima they they all shared their head that day they had very very sweet relationship with rajwasis so this was our acharya glorious acharya who used to live there um let's do couple more and then i'll show the video dan ghati mandir so now we move from uh, manasi ganga and come to this dan ghati uh, dan ghati is like a ghati it's like a valley or like a path uh, that goes over govardhan on top of govardhan it is a very very narrow path and he, this path is famous for this pastime you see in this picture it's called tax collector pastime tax collecting pastime ya dan wala pastime isko bolte hai this has been glorified by roop goswami in his book dan keli komedy the tax tax collector pastime isme kya hota tha kya hua is pastime mein actually navya loves this pastime a lot <clears throat> isme kya hua he when gopis were taking all their butter and yogurt and milk in their pots and they were crossing over the govardhan from top of on this through this ghati to go to vrindavan uh, they found krishna standing there with some other gopa friends and holding a big stick as a danda leke as a police wale ki tarah khade the wo and he stopped them he he would not let, let them cross he said in order to cross to the other side you need to pay tax on this hmm because i am the king of the of the vraja huh and being the king i have authority to get tax from you on all these goods that you are taking across to vrindavan so give me the uh, give me the uh, tax on this so uh, gopi said who made you the king of vraja so krishna bole ki uh, vrinda devi did call vrinda devi and ask her um, i have married her and i have become the king of uh, vraja jab vrinda devi ko bulaya to usne kaha Hold on, hold on. Who told you you are the king of Raja? There is only one Brinda Vaneshwari, and she is the Ishwar of Brinda Van, and she is uh, Shri Mati Radha Rani. So you are not nobody. You are not a king of Brinda Van. Please get out of this illusion. Uh, my Brinda Vaneshwari is only Radha Rani. So she is the only Lord of Brinda Van and Govardhan. So you are not a not a king. But anyways, uh, Krishna and other coward boys won't let them pass. So at that time, Pond Masi. yeah the beloved pond masi she intervened you know she is always trying to connect jeevas with krishna so she intervened and she said krishna um, she said gopis please give them something to eat give them a little offering of your milk yogurt butter and uh, krishna in return please give them two benedictions the first benediction she asked that gopis will always reside with you in govardhan and vrindavan and they will always serve you 
okay give them nivas nikat to you close to you okay second benediction she asked for all jeevas she said that anybody who gives up their material attachment and goes to live at radha kund in, in uh, giriraj govardhan gives up their material association and goes to live in radha kund will get krishna prem you promise that you will give krishna prem to whoever who will give up their material attachments and goes and resides in radha kund and we know the best example for that is uh, shripad raghunath das goswami so in the, these two benedictions she asked from uh, krishna purnamasi devi so he let them they offered him all this uh, things and he let them go this is the dani raya mandir or dani dan ghati mandir um, uh, with this uh, past time um now um i was telling you that roop goswami wrote a whole book on this past time it's called dan komudi uh, dan keli komudi sorry dan keli komudi this book describes the tech tax collector past times how it happens in so many ways ha huh? the reason he wrote that book is a very very sweet reason very very sweet reason the reason he wrote that book is because um first of all he wrote a book i don't remember the name of the book um i'm sure some of you will know the book described the separation of um gopis from krishna when krishna was leaving and going to mathura when akrura came and krishna and balram were going to mathura at that time the separation that they felt um on that mood on that vipralam bhav uh, roop goswami wrote a book and he gifted that book to ragunath das goswami now ragunath das goswami was always in this mood of separation from krishna hmm? and when he read this book of roop goswami he felt very very dejected very very um, intense separation from krishna and he told roop goswami i feel like i want to give up my body and uh, and i am feeling so much separation from krishna i want to give up this body so roop goswami said hold on hold on i did not give you that this book to make you uh, go into such a separation so yes uh, they were saying lalit madhav yes lalit madhav yes that was the name of that a book so uh, he said i did not give you that book to make you feel like this so hold on then he went and wrote this book called dan keli komudi which was completely opposite to that separation mode this was completely about the tax collector pastime very very charming funny humorous uh, you know um, sweet pastimes of krishna with radharani and gopis and so when he wrote this book he went to ragunath das goswami and he said please take this book now but i will only give you this book if you return the other book back to me to so, lalit madhav wapas kar do aur ye dan keli komudi rakh lo so in this way he gifted dan keli komudi to um, to ragunath das goswami and took the other book back because he was worried about the health of ragunath das goswami okay a uh, few more uh, things it is i'm sorry this is taking a long time uh, but um this is anyor village anyor anyor if you are familiar some of you know uh, when all the rajwasis were feeding giriraj govardhan uh, itna khana khila rahe the wo giriraj govardhan ko get that giriraj govardhan kept eating and he kept saying anyor anyor or lao bring more bring more anyor means bring more he kept saying bring more bring more anyor anyor and they had made like so much dal i said that they were dal kund then they had made so much kheer kheer kund sabzi kund ha huh? uh, milk kund so many kundas had been created just from all the things that brajwasis were offering and um, he still kept saying anior anior and now and he was not getting satiated at all and so brajwasis were very bewildered all our food supplies finished and giriraj is not getting satisfied how can we make more food so then one rajwasi came and he put a little tulsi leaf on top of the rest of the offerings and when giriraj accepted tulsi leaf then he was satisfied and he stopped saying any more so then he accepted all the rest of the offerings so this is the village uh, anyor uh, on the same name there are many other places in between that will come uh, from from there we go to like sankarshan kund uh, so, uh, sankarshan kund balram temple and this is our beloved prabhupad's bhakti vedant ashram or iskon govardhan so this was actually this land was purchased by uh, by tamal krishna goswami maharaj and his is samadhi tamal krishna goswami maharaj is one of the disciples of uh, shila prabhupad in 1994 this land was purchased and slowly the uh, ashram and the temple was built here 
and his samadhi is actually in this ashram. Uh, Krishna Balram deities in the form of Govardhan Shila are residing in um, in this ashram. And you know, all know that Govardhan was very, very dear to Prabhupada and also very, very dear to uh, Shila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Maharaj. Uh, Prabhupada in his last few days, uh, you know, before he um, wrapped up his manifested pastimes, uh, he expressed that I want to go on Govardhan Parikrama. He told his disciples, let's go on Govardhan Parikrama and do a picnic there. This is when he was so fragile and dis disciples were very, um, you know, they were, they, some of the disciples uh, were not in favor of this at all, that Prabhupada is so weak and fragile at this time and doctor also recommended against. He said, if Prabhupada goes on this Parikrama, even if you go in a bullock cart or auto or something, the parikrama is so rickety, right? The road is so uh, rickety, rocky, that he will not be, his fragile body will not be able to take it. So he may end up, you know, losing his body just because of this parikrama. So please don't take him. That's what uh, the doctor advised. But, um, and um, and some disciples were in favor of, go of him going just because he had instructed, but most of them were very worried. And uh, they came to him in the night and since they looked so concerned, Prabhupada said, you know, since you are so, feeling like this very, very strongly about this, I will not go. But this was his mood that even in the last few days, he wanted to visit Govardhan. It was very, very dear to him. Uh, okay, this is Dan Nivartan Kund. So Dan Nivartan Kund is also, the, this is the next stop after the uh, Iskon Govardhan. Dan Nivartan Kund is where... Uh, the tax that Krishna had collected, Krishna had collected all this tax, right? He had taken all this um, butter, milk, yogurt, other sweets and things from gopis and Radharani. So now they wanted to get back at him. They had to pay tax for no reason. So they um, collected in this place, this place called Dan Nivartan Kund. Dan Nivartan means where tax was taken back. How did they So they, uh, they um, stood there in wait of thousands of gopis stood there in wait of Krishna and his friends and when they came uh, gopis were carrying danda uh, with big sticks and they captured all Krishna and all his friends and they tied them to the trees there and uh, shikha uh, say bandhya came uh, to the branches so they tied them like this and they, uh, Lalita and Vishakha Saki said that we will only let you go if you will pay obeisances to Radharani and agree that she is the uh, king, she is the queen of Vrindavan and Govardhan, and um, uh, then we will let you uh, pass. So then they, in this way, they got their revenge, um, and this is that's why this is called Dan Nivartan Kund. This is that Kund. Okay, so since um, our time will be very short, let me show you the video. There is still about half of the Parikrama left. We have only reached half. There is half more. Um, but just to break the flow, we'll do a little different. Can you hear it? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Not yet, Pataji. Japati Bujatanda. Absuna? Yes, Pataji. Abhi sunai de raha. Tatra bhavam prapadiya. Adihatamada drishta danda devendra garava. Atula Britula Saila Shani Bupa Priyan Me Nijanikatani Vasandehi Govardhanam Tami Ramadamadana Lila Kandare Kandarite Rachayati Navayunor Danda Masminamanda Itikila Kalanarathanga Kastatya Yurme 
ನಿಜನಿಕ ತನಿವಾ ಸಂದೇಹಿ ಗೋವರ್ಧನ್ ಅನುಪಮ ಮಣಿ ವೇದಿ ರಜನ ಸಿಂಹ ಸನುಭವಿ ಹಜಾರ ದಾರ ಸಾಲು ದ್ರೋಣಿ ಸಂಗಿ ಸುರಂಗ ಸಹಬಲ ಸಖಿ ವಿಹಿ ಸಂಕೆಲ ಸಪ್ರಿಯಂಗೇ ನಿಜ ನಿಕತ ನಿಭಾಸಂದೇ ಗೋಗರದ ರಸನಿಧಿ ನವಯುಣಕ್ಷಿ ಪರಿಮಳ ವಿಧಾನ ಸಮೇದಿ ಪ್ರಕಶ್ಯ ರಸಿಕವರಕುಲ ಮೋದಂಗಸ್ಫಲಯ ಜನಿತಿವಾಸಂದೈಗೋವರ್ಧನ್ ಹರಿದಯಿ ತಂಗ ಪೂರ್ವಂ ರಧಿಕ ಕುಂದಮ ಪ್ರಿಯಶ ಕಮಿಹ ಕಂತೆ ನರ್ಮದ ಲಿಂಗ್ಯ ಗುಪ್ತ ನವ ಯುವ ಯುಗ ಖೇಲಸ್ ತತ್ರ ಪಶ್ಯಂಗ್ರ ಹೊಮ್ಮೆ ತ್ರಿಜಗತಿ ನಿಜ ಗೋತ್ರ ಸರತ ಖಾಂಕ್ಯ ಪಯನ್ ಮೇ ನಿಜನಿಕ ತನಿವ ಸಂದೇಹಿ ಗೋವರ್ಧನ್ ಸುರಪತಿ ಕೃತ ದೀರ್ಘಾತೋಗಸ್ತ ರಕ್ಷ ತವ ನವ ಗೃಹ ರೂಪಸ್ಯಂತರೆ ಕುರ್ವತ ಆಘಾಭಾಕರಿ ಪುನೋಚೈರ್ದತಮಾನೇಹಿ ಗೋವರ್ಧನ್ಧಿ ನೃಪ ಹರಿದಾಸ ಶ್ರೇಣಿ ಬರ್ಯತಿ ನಮ ಮೋದಿ ಕವಕ್ತ್ರಚಂದ್ರಜನವತಿಲಕೃತ್ತಿಜನಿಕೂತ ರಾಧಾ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಮೈತ್ರಿ ರಾಶಾಕ್ತ ಜನ ರೂಪಾಶು ಪಕ್ಷಿ ವ್ರಾತ ಶೌಖ್ಯ ನಿರುಪಾಧಿ ಕರುಣೇನ ಸಚಿನಂದನೇನ ತಾಯಿ ಕಪತಿ ಸತೋಪಿ ತ್ವತ್ಪಿತೋಸ್ಮಿ ಕಾಲು ಮಮ ಯೋಗ್ಯ ಯೋಗ್ಯ ತಂತ ಮಗ್ರಿನ ನಿಜ ನಿಕತ ನಿವ ಸಂದಿ ಗೋವರದ ಶ್ರೀಲ ಗೋವರ್ಧನ ಸೊ ಆಸ್ ಯು ಸಿ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಸ್ಟಿಲ್ ಸೋ ಮಚ್ ಲೆಫ್ಟ್ ಆಲ್ಮೋಸ್
we at least half more to go <clears throat> so shall we do this rest of it tomorrow because it will be yes mother yes mother yes, okay yeah um, okay so i think we'll stop today uh, would anyone like to add or share anything more there is a lot more i'm just giving very very brief uh, from my limited understanding and limited reading um, but um, many many sweet pastimes more to more to go yes prabhu ji prabhu prabhu please share krishna devotee hari krishna everyone mata ji a little confusion here i was listening uh, i was not 100% uh, you know in the home by then you started the mansi ganga and the sham kund is there a difference because I, i don't know if i read it right or understood right because when krishna had killed the um the dhenuka sure that time he was asked to purify himself and he created the sham kund so can you please tell me because i don't think i know the right information Yes, Prabhu ji. Prabhu ji, uh, there are two different demons that he killed. Mansi Ganga and Sham Kund are uh, separate. Um, so Sham Kund comes towards the end of our parikrama. So I forgot to mention that um, Giriraj Govardhan is like a moor, like a mayur shaped. Okay. So we are we started with Mukharavin, which is mouth of Giriraj Govardhan. The Radha Kund and Sham Kund are the eyes. They are considered the eyes of Giriraj Govardhan. we start uh, from mansi ganga come completely as a pura and then come to sham kund and radha kund the demons that were killed are the story is very similar so that's why i think you're confused uh, mansi ganga when uh, when mansi ganga was manifested by krishna he had killed a demon called vatsasura vats means calf vats ka sanskrit mein meaning hota hai calf so vatsasura ko mara tha and uh, radha rani and gopi told him same thing ki you have committed go hatya so purify yourself in ganges and at the time of sham kund uh, he had killed a demon called arishtasura and the sham kund and radha kund is located in the village called arishta arishta village arish sorry arishta van not village arishta van in the town of arishta van so arishtasura bhi ek cow tha that one was calf this was like a cow or bull aisa kuch tha and same thing they said you have committed go hatya but this time they said purify yourself in all the pilgrimages sare teerthon mein jaake apne aap ko purify karo so actually sham kund is not just ganga uh, sham kund is actually um, containing water from all the pilgrimages all the teerthas came uh, krishna prayed and all the pilgrimages manifested there and mansi ganga krishna had dug uh, with his flood um, and this may he just dug with his hit with his heel and a wo ban gaya hole which is called sham kund into which all the pilgrimage places manifested and all that water uh, from different pilgrimages is called sham kund aur phir radha kund wo hum kal karenge story ki radha kund phir kaise manifest hua yes prabhu ji that is my understanding if in thank you mata ji yeah, i think yeah because i i didn't have a complete information i only read one time about sham kund and then you were mentioning about mansi kanga it sounded like a same story but it makes sense because that time he, it was a bull that he killed yes prabhu thank <coughs> you mata ji anybody else would like to make any corrections or any additions please go ahead hari krishna thank you so very much mata ji such a wonderful presentation especially i love the song in the video it's amazing and can we all say uh, three times hari bol for natasha mata ji for doing this mata ji hari bol hari bol hari bol hari bol hari bol hari bol thank you mata ji hari krishna thank you so very much hari krishna uh, mata ji that song is the um, ragunath das ko swami's compilation from one of the dashkams that i was mentioning it's called govardhan vas prarthana dashkam from his books tawagli so it was composed by ragunath das ko swami madhuri is it available on youtube yes madhuri that's where i got madhuri ji please share the link sure sure thank you madhuri okay um atul prabhu would you like to um, make any corrections or add anything or is it okay to stop and can we do again tomorrow we'll try to finish tomorrow
Thank you, Madhuri. Such a wonderful presentation. Uh, you presented very nicely and did so much hard work. It uh, looks beautiful. I was also not able to uh, join um, in the earlier part, so I did, uh, parts, but I'm looking into the recordings and looking forward to tomorrow's session as well. Thank you, Madhuri. Okay. Thank you, Prabhuji. Okay, so we'll stop. Um, Giriraj Govardhan ki jai. Shila Prabhupada ki jai. So, Vacha Kautha Rupes Chakrapa Sindhu Bhai Vacha Patita Naam Pavane Bhyo Vaishnavi Bhyo Namaha. All glories to the Sambhal Devotees. Thank you, Prabhuji. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna.